hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's good to have you all back again it's been a while that i haven't done a video on a tech talk the last one i did on samsung deck and transferring file from your samsung x10 to your macbook pro and i got a lot of questions from people how you can do it inverse which is to transfer a file document from your macbook pro to your samsung x10 so i really want you guys to understand that i have gone through all this and it's been a struggle but right now the struggle is over and i want you to really relax and enjoy this tutorial it's going to clear all your doubts i'm going to be displaying two screens of this tutorial one is the desktop application that you'll be using to transfer files if you want to see the file after transferring it you can also see it from your samsung dex application or you can also see it through your phone so i'm going to be displaying like i said two screens so you'll be seeing what will happen whichever one you decide to use to find your document after being transferred To make the transfer possible, you're going to need a Samsung deck USB cable which has an entrance for the phone and the Mac Pro book. So right away, I just want to give you a little bit of demonstration. If you haven't done this before, this is if, and it's your first time, you just need to put in the USB cable into your phone and then this other part of it is going to be inserted on your computer. Once the two devices are synchronized, the desktop will approve connection. Now, this is a file I want to transfer and it is a PDF file, but you can also transfer a Word document the same way. When you have transferred the file from your laptop into your Dex, you receive a notification on your phone saying that a file has been transferred into your phone. But if you choose to use your Dex as the screen that you want to check the document, that means you have to click on restart my files. This means you're allowing your Dex to be the device that you're going to be using to check your documents. Go to my files and click on download. That is where you'll find the file that you just transferred. Scroll through and find the file. Once you find it, you can just open it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please, I would like you to subscribe to my channel because each time you subscribe, it makes us get recognized in YouTube and also your comments are very important. So we can see what you like and I can do more of the videos that you like. And your comments also are very important. So ask me questions. Anything you want to ask, I'm right here. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Bye.